Can you guys please undress? Yay! Hello everybody, I'm Kelly and I'm 27 years old this year Even though I tell people I'm 21 I've been single for 2 years My ideal type would be someone that doesn't cheat on me Very low standards Let's go Hi boys Can I see your bios please? I'll start with number 1 Always up for an adventure Boring Clown on the street <laughs> Freak in the spreadsheets Wow Okay, no, not bad, funny A gentleman in the streets and a beast in the sheets In number 2 and number 3 can be best friends, you know Not bad, okay Thank you, thank you boys On a scale of 1 to 5 How important is sex in a relationship? Sex? <laughs> this one very horny, this one The middle one I mean, surprise, surprise, right? It's very important to boys I think it's important too Have you guys ever cheated on your partner? Thumbs up for yes Thumbs down for no I don't know why is this Like maybe grey area Okay, have, have, no Well, that is one of my deal breakers Because I hate cheaters Shame on you, number 3 and number 4 Shame on you <laughs> So I used to give uh, people chances To me, I don't think your past Should determine how you are In, in the present but from my experience, people tend to repeat certain pattern in their life And I think right now, that's not a risk that I'm willing to take Because I've been cheated on 4 times out of 5 boyfriends So enough is enough Have you guys ever sent nudes? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no For guys, it's dick pics, right? Yeah. Dick pics, yes or no? Hey, you cannot change answer number one You were thumbs up just now What is this? This is yes or no number three Uh, okay, yes I mean, if you send dick pics to your girlfriend, that's fine one. Just make sure that you don't include your face Because if that goes out, then it'll be a problem So be sexy but be smart How many times do you think a couple should have sex in a week? 20 times? Oh my god What's the last one? The last one is Zero times? I don't know what's that so I think the 20 times a bit too much Do you think you're a rabbit? Who do you think look most like a boy? You can't vote for yourself, okay? <laughs> so two is has the most votes okay, Nice Thank you boys, thank you Who do you think has the best body among the five of you? You can't pick yourself, okay? Okay, so three is it's the most popular one. Okay, great. Thank you. Imagine yourself as a girl. Who would you date among the five of you? You can't obviously pick yourself. Wow, this one is fast. Number four really wants to date number three. <laughs> and number three wants to date number four. Hey, mesh make in heaven, this two. Who would you guys vote off among the five of you? Four and one. Popular choice Thank you, thank you so much To me, I think cheating is a taboo So whoever that say that they have cheated before Would definitely be the top of my list And also, if you hesitate in telling me that I feel like that would be a red flag as well Because you are maybe trying to lie Based on also their bios I feel like number 3 has no saving grace I'm sorry number 3 But I have to let you go I'm so Oh my god, I'm so sorry I'm so sorry I'm sorry Thank you. I'm sorry. No worries. <laughs> he smells good. Boys, can you guys show me your biceps, please? <laughs> oh, this one is solid, solid. Oh, all of them are good. Thank you, thank you so much. All of them have great biceps. Can't wait to feel some body fats. Can you guys please undress? Yay! Excited. I'm going to caress you. Wow, solid abs. Whoa, good, great. I feel like there's almost no fats. I'm going to guy number two. I'm going to come touch you. This is your chest. Oh, not bad. Wow, they, I can't pinch anything. Um, can I touch your stomach? Wow, they have no body fats. Okay, wow, that's great. I'm going to guy number five now. Oh, okay. They all feel photoshopped, so that is great. Can't wait to see them. 
<laughs> Boys, is it okay if you show me an old photo of you? Okay, nice. Wow, number two, interesting choice of outfit. Okay, thank you, thank you, boys. Okay, boys, can you guys show me a current picture of yourself? Oh, oh, tattoo, nice. You, something happened to your leg. Number five. Okay, thank you guys so much. Thank you. I can describe number five to be very clumsy, like extreme sports, but yet still very hardworking. Cause you know, nothing's gonna bring him down. You know, they just touch their. P I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Just checking the goods out. Can I please touch your ass, guys? Number one, I'm coming to touch your ass. Where's your ass? Oh, nice, solid. Oh, love it. Getting hot in here. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. He flinched. Now I feel like a pervert. Number five, I'm here to touch your ass. <laughs> It's not very assertive. I really can't tell because I try to squeeze a little bit but all of them feel like awesome. Boys, let's hold hands. Can you guys let me know how you would hold your girlfriend's hand? I'll go to number one first. Oh, like that. Nice. Okay, okay. It wasn't like really like a holding hand but he made me like hold him, like hold his arms so I can feel his biceps too, you know. So that's great. I'm going to you number two. Oh, okay. What the f*** are you doing? It was like messing my, my thing up. I'm very fearful of number two. Yeah. Oh nice. Number four has a very nice... Thank you. Number four has like a really nice grip. The number two is trying to attack me. <laughs> are they going to massage me? Yeah, you can let them do it then. Okay. Hi guys, now y'all can touch me. Can you guys give me a massage? I'll go to number one first. Oh. Wow. Firm hands. Oh. But number two will just straight away choke me, I think. <laughs> okay, not much strength, but it's good. Okay, number four. Ooh. Nice. Gentle, but strong. Number five. Ow! Well, this guy obviously doesn't give like good massages at all. <laughs> Thank you, number five. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, I have my answer. Even though I like his banter, I'm gonna go off number two. Hello! Hello! Oh, uh, so I'm Jack. Oh. 98, is it? Me, 93, same as me. Yeah. Yay! Ox. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, boys, you guys can put your shirt back on. Okay, guys, show me your search history in 3, 2, 1. No deleting, okay? Orca and Killer Whale difference. Um, confirm delete one. Lah. This one, wow. Or maybe he used his laptop, that's why, right? Okay. Oh, you voted already. Sorry, number two. Recover after surgery. Oh, so poor thing. Oh my god, this is all about his injury. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Thank you. Can you guys show me your Instagram explore page? Uh, wow, this is such a typical boys explore page. Cars and men. That's basically that. Okay, number four. Okay, big boobs women. Girls, girls, bikini, girls. It's all girls, guys. It's all girls. We know where, where your head is at, number four, we know. Fighting. Okay, there are some girls. There are some like about sports. I assume that he's a UFC fighter, which explains the injury, right? I can say that number four really likes women. I feel like number five is very into his passion. Uh, same for number one. I guess you can say that for number four because he can like women and that's all he sees, right? So yeah, I think all of them can see where their attention is at. Okay boys, can we take a look at your most recent liked photo? I will go to number one first. It's a cat. Funny, it's kind of like a meme thing. Uh, number four is... For well, number four, you very rub up, are you? <laughs> like, seriously. Okay, number five, some motivational content quote thing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I think number four, we really need to get a life. Uh, besides liking girls' photos. So I'm gonna vote number four out because he has a type. I'm not. I'm doing him a favor, okay? So, yes, number four, I'm gonna vote you out. <laughs> Hello. Okay. I'm Gavin. Hi, you. hi, Gavin. I'm Kelly. You like a lot of big boobs, like. No, no. Uh, you don't really have a time. No, 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 it but it's. My, my phone is filled with it. I mean, you know. Yeah, it's nice, nice meeting you. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Bye bye. Yeah.
My question would be, what would you say is your biggest insecurity in a relationship? Uh, I guess it's not being good enough for her. Like uh, in terms of progression in life and uh, I'm good enough to take care of her. Okay, thank you. I'm going to number five. Hi, uh, actually really similar. I'm afraid that I will not be good enough for her and how I take care of her in a sense and just looking out for her in general. Both of them have like very similar um, answers. It's more of like they feel like they are afraid that they are not good enough as their partner. It makes me feel like they are someone that love to take care of their partner, which is good. Yeah, I think it's how you approach this insecurity because you can have that in you, but if you're like constantly asking for validation from your partner, that might be an issue. I don't think it's my partner's job to validate me, but I think it's my partner's job to support me. I think validation should come from within and not from anyone else. Would you be okay if your partner doesn't want children? Uh, no, I would not be okay. I would want to have kids. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to number five. Yes, because I think it's a big decision. I think both parties have to be on the same page. I'm impartial to having kids, so either way it works for me. Okay, cool. I don't know if I want kids. And I feel like in society now, it's something that I find it very hard to bring it up. I feel like it would be like a red flag on me that I don't want children, but I have my reasons. I know my personality is I would rather not have anything weighing me down. Like if I want to like take off to another country, I want to have the freedom to do that. But plans change, you know? This is quite an extreme, but it happened to me before. What if I say I want to go overseas with a guy friend that used to like me but no longer, and we've been friends for let's say 10 years, and we want to go overseas alone for a trip. How would you feel about that? Okay, so for me, if you've been friends with that person for a while and uh, you've known him before me, so it's not my place to say much. Okay, thank you. Hi, number five. I think trust is very important between the two of us. Uh, like you say, it's already been 10 years. Even if you used to like you and you're still friends now, I think I would trust you enough to go uh, for you to not do anything that would uh, hurt me. Okay, cool. Thank you. I think number five focus a lot more on the word trust which is something that I think is very important for me. Number one, uh, also basically say that he will let me go. Yeah, it's good, good answers. <laughs> to me, I, I, I like to see my future as like lots of possibilities and I never like, like a certain definite way that it should go. I feel like people that has very definite way that they want their future to go to would not be someone that is very compatible with me. I would like to vote out number one. I'm so sorry. Hello, I'm sorry. I feel so bad. Nice apps though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so hi, I'm Aziz. I'm 26. I am a financial consultant. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. The Baika guy. Please come out number five, but please be careful because you're injured. Hello, hi. Are you okay? I'm good, I'm good. I'm studying at NTU right now, but I'm also a pro MMA fighter, so you kind of guessed correct. Uh, I think you're quite pretty. Quite. Uh, you're very pretty, sorry. I just. He seems like a very like sincere, earnest person. I like his voice. His voice is very nice to hear. Would you go out on a date? Yeah, I'm sure. Like, it's a date, right? Sure, why not? Sure. Wow, this is very awkward. But you sure your leg can or not? Maybe wait till your leg heals, then we go. If not, you like, I can't. <laughs> can I? Can I?